My name is Pierre Rouleau. I'm an Occupational Health and Safety Inspector with the Ontario Ministry of Labour. Uh, we are at the Operating Engineers Training Institute of Ontario at Oakville, and we're here to learn what's involved in a tower crane inspection. Uh, before starting my formal inspection, I would just uh, have a quick look around, see what's happening, who's, who's about. Uh, after arriving on site uh, and parking, I would want to speak to the project supervisor, uh, any worker, health and safety representative, and eventually I'd want to speak to the tower crane operator. Hello, I'm Pierre Rulo. I'm an inspector with the Ministry of Labour and I'm here to do a tower crane inspection. I will go to the site trailer and ask to see some documents related to the tower crane. There's foundation notes from no. the engineer. Okay. These would include the engineer's drawings for the footings, the engineer's inspection reports, the tower crane log, any maintenance records related to the crane. Owners of tower cranes are obligated to provide a permanent record of all maintenance, work, repairs that were ever done to the tower crane, including inspections, uh, all within a tower crane logbook. The Ministry of Labour is concerned that tower cranes be properly uh, engineered, inspected, that their components are safe even before erection. And once they're erected, they need to be inspected by a professional engineer licensed in the province of Ontario or a person that is competent that is designated by that engineer. Once the crane is working, uh, it, the workplace parties are responsible to ensure that it is inspected regularly, maintained and operated in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. The project supervisor or a competent person designated by that supervisor is responsible to inspect the tower crane at least weekly or as recommended by the manufacturer. I wouldn't mind having a look at the crane now, or can we do that? Absolutely. When it comes to the foundation of the tower crane, I want to ensure that it's been designed by a professional engineer and that it's been inspected by a professional engineer as well. I'd like to start uh, with asking you about uh, the electrical safety here. Can you tell me about a bit about the electrical setup, the grounding, etc.? Um, you can see the transformers are all securely bolted uh, to the crane. When it comes to safe hoisting practices, I want to make sure that the load is uh, safe and secure itself, that it's uh, we pay attention to its weight, uh, the center of gravity, that the rigging is set up properly and in good condition. We also want to make sure that once the, the load is hoisted that it is not passed over workers or run into other hazards such as overhead electrical power lines. You can see we've got our uh, load rating uh, chart here and stuff so it gives me uh, the capacities of the crane with the different boom lengths. I have to determine whether or not the tower crane operator is qualified to operate the crane. I do that by asking to see the certificate of qualification issued by the Ministry of Training Colleges and Universities. I would also interview the operator asking questions uh, pertaining to the crane itself, the operation, uh, best practices, etc. Walter, uh, can you tell me about the load block and the overlimit block? Uh, once a week we do our load moment tests. So this is how I'll pick up this block here and uh, when I try to pick up the uh, over uh, load block uh, it's going to trip the limit switch thus protecting uh, the crane's uh, structure. Construction projects are busy places where conditions are changing constantly. This is especially true if there's a tower crane involved. It's important that everybody pay attention to what's going on. Employers are obligated to, to provide their workers with proper and safe equipment training, information, instruction, and adequate supervision so that they can perform their job safely. For more information, I recommend that you go to the Ministry of Labor's website or the Infrastructure Health and Safety Association website.